So first I'm going to go here and check. Yeah, I've got one to three millimeter, which is good news. And then here, I've got like six millimeter. And this is what I like to start. Start with the paracrystal area. Down to the bone. Make sure the lines are cropped nicely. And then here, we're gonna set, elevate the papilla in this area, gently. In this area, we're going to preserve the papilla. And then go up there and you can see, remember we said we try to lean on the bone and elevate the papilla, sorry, elevate the flap nicely. And then every time you want to elevate, you literally lean on the bone and then you elevate the sharp part around the bone and the polished towards the soft tissue. By doing this, you're sort of scraping and that granulation tissue will come out easily. I'm gonna put my periprope in the, in the middle and I'm gonna mark a four millimeter. Perfect, so I'm marking my vertical line. Woodpecker, I'm trying now to make sure I do not follow the previous osteotomy. Excellent. For 12 millimeter from the T junction, nothing, not following the bone in the good mesodistal dimension. Yes, that's perfect and it's coming out in the palatal aspect of the future tooth. Hmm. Again, we put our direction indicator and check my implant position. And then check the guide. Yes, are we still in the Yeah, you can see it's coming out palatally. I'm going to go without water. And you could see how we collected some bone because we drilled at a low speed. And you could see the implant poking out in the palatal aspects of our central incisor. Yeah, point of view, and you can see if we put this here, I think, you could, so two millimeter healing abutment, you could see the position of the implant, palatal. One, another trick you could do, just put a line here, and you could see, because I could adjust it and change it. So, when you want to do your GPR, number one rule, you don't the membrane like that, and as you do that, you cut the membrane accordingly, and now, pull it out. And as I tie that suture, that membrane gonna be sort of supported inside the tunnel. So now we're trying to make sure that our Palatal defect has been grafted nicely, but more importantly, has a barrier stopping fibroplasts coming into the area. Perfect. And that's my allograft.
It's Max Graft Human Tissue Bank. Comes from Live Donors from Botus. And you could see we're just using that to pack the mesiodistal gaps and the labial. And as you could see, now we're grafting even to the level of the healing abutment. We don't only graft to the implant level, we graft above the implant level to give us good support and make sure this bone is gonna last longer. So even if we get a bit of remodeling, we're gonna be safe. So my second layer is going to be mainly xenograft, but I will also mix it with some autogenous to give it some sort of ability to remodel and convert into natural bone. And we graft in a way to produce that. And we're going to put the first layer there. We're gonna stabilize it. And you literally put some pressure there. And then when you finish, you just twist it to the side. Here we go. Now this is a chance to push the bone underneath the membrane. Okay, so that's my soft tissue graft tissues and it will act as a nice platform which will encourage quicker soft tissue healing. So you could see the difference between the soft tissue graft which comes from animal origins. The good thing about it it comes in different sizes. You could shape it, shave it the way you like. It has a uniform thickness. It's a ready-made, it's a ready-made um, soft tissue graft. So it's your McDonald's basically, a ready-made which we've harvested from the palate, but Victoria done great effort de-epithelizing it and removing any fat cells kept attached to the bone, not to the flap, because you don't want the soft tissue graft to move as the flap moves or as the lip moves. It's all about stability. For bone grafting and soft tissue grafting, the magic word is stability. Here we go, that's the first stabilization suture. We're gonna do the second one now. Beautiful soft tissue management by Victoria. You know, it's really good to have a colleague working with you. So, saved us lots of time. So, while I was working on the mucoderm here, mucoderm here, Victoria done the soft tissue graft for us there. Okay. My last stabilization suture, and then we'll start closing. And then 